All right, and hello, B and J middle school students. Let's practice some more test questions together. So let's begin with number one. So listen to the dialogue, starting with the man. Sora, you look busy these days. What's up? I'm practicing the piano day and night. Really? How many hours a day do you practice? Six hours a day. That much? Why? Because I'm taking part in a contest next Friday. Can I come walk and watch you play? So what is the correct response to this question? Can I come and watch you play? Is the correct response A? That's right, it's not that easy. B, of course, come and enjoy. C, sure, I like the food very much. And, or D, okay, you can play the piano anytime. So which one is it? Think about it. B, of course, come and enjoy. Come and enjoy. Can I come and watch you play? Of course, come and enjoy. Number two. So where does this take place? Where does this take place? Hello, shoppers. We have a lost child. His name is Kim min Su, and he was found near the toy section of our department store. He is looking for his mom. He is five years old. He is wearing a red baseball cap, a white t-shirt, and blue jeans. You can find him at the information desk. Once again, a five-year-old boy named Kim min Su is waiting for his mom at the information desk on the first floor. So where does this take place? One, a department store. Two, an amusement park. Three, a park. Four, a baseball stadium. Or five, a movie theater. Which place? Where does this take place? Think about it. One, a department store. Did you remember hearing? He was found near the toy section of our department store. So department store. And number three, which is not mentioned. So which is not mentioned. Do you sleep well? Here's some advice for you to sleep better at night. First, you should not drink coffee or tea in the evening. Second, don't sleep during the daytime. Third, watching TV late at night is not a good idea. If you want to have a good night's sleep, try to drink warm milk before you go to bed or do some light exercises. So which is not mentioned? Try not to drink coffee. Is that mentioned? Yes. Try to take a nap. Is that mentioned? No. Try to have dim lighting? No. Drink hot milk? Yes, that is mentioned. Try not to watch TV? That is mentioned. And I'm sorry, try not to take a nap is mentioned. So A, B, or one, two, four, and five are mentioned. To, not to drink coffee, not to take a nap, drink hot milk, and not to watch TV are mentioned. So which one is not mentioned? Try to have dim lighting. C, good, or three. All right, and number four, why is this conversation not right? What are you going to do this weekend? I went to Seoul last Saturday. Going to do something. Future, right? Going to do something. Going to do. What are you going to do this weekend? And I went to Seoul last weekend. Went is past. Past. Not the same. So a correct response would be... I am going to go to Seoul. That is the correct response this weekend. I am going to go to Seoul this weekend. So going, going. 
Good, and number five. May I have your attention, please? In 20 minutes, we'll be landing. So please put your seats into the upright position and fasten your seat belts. Please make sure you have all your belongings with you when you get off. Thank you, and we hope you fly again soon with ABC Airlines. So what is this about? What is this announcement about? A ads, a delay, lost bags, landing, or taking off? What do you think? Landing, good job. Landing, see, we'll be landing, we'll be, we will be landing in 20 minutes. So three, landing. I'm sorry, four landing. All right, and number six. Then let what completes the dialogue? Then how did you get the door open? And what is the correct response? One, I didn't do anything to him. Three, two, I was so nervous. Three, my brother had a spare key. And four, finally I had a nice car. Or five, my neighbor asked me a lot. Which one do you think it is? My brother had a spare key. Spare means extra, and you need a key to open the door. So that's how she opened. That's how she opened the door with a spare key or an extra key that her brother had. And number seven. How much will the woman pay? The man says, "Welcome to the art gallery." The woman says, "How much is a ticket for a student?" It's six dollars, but we give a one dollar discount per ticket after six. Six o'clock. That's great. It's six thirty. I need three tickets. All right, the total is fifteen dollars. Here you are. So how much does the woman pay? Fifteen dollars. So the student tickets are six dollars. But after six o'clock, they are five dollars, and she needs three. So five dollars times three tickets is fifteen. So she will pay fifteen dollars. And number eight, which is the wrong response, or which dialogue doesn't make sense? Number one, have you ever been to Dokdo? Yes, it was beautiful. That seems correct to me. Do you think it's cold outside? Yes, you have to wear your coat. Three, will you carry these books for me? Yes, I'm very busy now. Or four, can you stay here a little longer? Sure, if you want me to. So which one of these is not correct? Number three, will you carry these books for me? Yes, I'm very busy right now, not correct. So a correct answer would be, no, I'm busy right now. Or, yes, I will. All right. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye.